Hey, welcome to the Real Estate Wholesalers Club.com. This is Justin Chamness, and we are right here live on Facebook. This is our free real estate wholesalers and lease options mentoring group. If you haven't checked us out, please do. If you like my videos on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Today, we are here to talk about lease options. This has been a widely requested, widely requested string of videos that I'm going to be making here interacting with you live with your live questions and my live answers that's right so chime in with the chat let's get some things moving on lease options I want to take you step by step through lease options and show you exactly what it is that I do I'm not talking about theory here I'm talking about actually what I do the nuts and bolts here of how to get it done I want you to see it I want you to be a part of it, so stay tuned. Let's jump into lease options, the topic of the day. How do I find a tenant buyer? This was the winning winning request on our survey this week of what topic to, to, to cover. How do we find a tenant buyer? How do we find one? It's pretty simple, guys. It's all about exposure, and I'm going to show you right now. Right, guys I am back and what I want to do is I want to share my screen with you here and I want to explain a couple things to you right off the bat um, first of all if you have not gone to real estate wholesalers club.com then you are just straight up missing out okay um, if you go there this is what it looks like and what it is is an opportunity for you in exchange for your first name and email address uh, you get access to the module training. Guys, this is not just in the units tab or the learnings tab of the free Facebook group. This is actually the modules that, that started it all. This is the, the, this is the training. Nothing is being held back here. It is all 100% free. Whether you want to go uh, the way of real estate wholesaler and doing virtual wholesale deals and co-wholesale deals, um, all across the country or in your market or whether you're wanting to do lease options all that training the modules are all there it's all free that includes the agreements the paperwork the marketing resources and tools everything that we do and use here we give access to you there so also you'll find us there if you're having a hard time find us on Facebook or YouTube you can find links to go there and then also I talked just briefly here you can see I'm not a big salesperson when it comes to this, but I do want to let you know that I do have a one-on-one -on -one type plan um, that you can you can access. It does cost $24.99 a month, but it allows uh, unlimited phone consultations between you and I. It also will allow me uh, to jump on three-way calls with you and your buyers or sellers and help you close deals, which is really what we're all wanting to do is close deals. All right, so if you sign up there, then you'll immediately be taken to the page where you can access these trainings. Now, since we're talking about lease options today, I want to actually click the lease options training uh, button here and access it. And I want to show you what it looks like on the inside. Um, basically, you'll see here the first module uh, is what is lease options? <laughs> you know, it'd be nice to know if you if you're not very solid on how it works or what it is that's a great place to start and then you can see I take you through step one step two step three step four step five step six. Oh no there's no step six that's in the wholesaling so um, in the lease options it's step by step you can see step one is find a property deal uh, step two is having that first conversation with the seller step three is doing the paperwork with the seller step four is marketing the property and step five is putting your buyer and seller together. Now, the most requested topic in our free Facebook group this week has been marketing the property, how to find a property deal. And I find that to be great. I mean, I'm excited that this is the most requested topic because that means that you guys are out there kicking ass. You're out there getting property deals, and some of you must have property deals that you're trying to find tenant buyers for. And today, I'm going to pull back the curtain and show you exactly what it is that I do to find property deals. Okay, so with that being said, we're going to go uh, immediately right over to 
um, a hypothetical, okay? This is not so hypothetical, but I, I see I'm kind of torn here because I get a lot of exposure online and I don't want to put someone's address up here on a real deal that's active at this present moment. So I've changed the address, but you can see I've changed it to something obviously fake. It's 1230 Apple Cart Way, Kansas City, Missouri. That happens to be in my market, and there's a reason for me picking it in my market. This could be a property deal in your market, or it could be anywhere that you have found a property deal all across the country. It does not really matter the geography so much of the property deal. You can see this is a three-bedroom, two-bath with two parking spots okay it would be better if it were a two-car garage because bread and butter okay bread and butter I want you to memorize this and remember it if this is one of the only things you take away from today's lesson is what bread and butter means when it comes to lease option property deals bread and butter means that is a three bedroom two bath two car garage that is what that means why is that bread and butter because you can sell those with lease options all day, every day, all day, every day, seven days a week, 12 months a year, it doesn't matter. Even on Christmas, you can sell houses that are quote unquote bread and butter. Okay. If they are three bedroom, two bath, two car garage, then, you know, you're not going to have a big problem getting attention with that property. Now, some of you have property deals probably or have had property deals that you've had a difficult time locating a tenant buyer and the reason why you've had a hard time locating a tenant buyer is one of two reasons and I'm going to talk about that right now and number one is, is because it really wasn't bread and butter now was it um, it was a two bedroom one bath and it was kind of crappy and small and the kitchen was outdated and there was no parking or it's street parking there's problems with this it's not bread and butter okay bread and butter three bedroom two bathroom two car garage or two parking spots at least okay get their ass off the streets okay and get them into a parking spot you don't want to be doing lease option deals you can do them but you know they're they're not the bread and butter okay i'm talking bread and butter here it's three bedrooms two baths two parking spots or two two car garage preferably now this deal we also see there is a lease payment to the owner all right with a lease option you're obviously going to be making a lease payment to the owner that lease payment in this particular situation is nine hundred and seventy five dollars that is what I am paying I have agreed okay to make sure that the seller or the homeowner okay gets at least nine hundred and seventy five dollars a month alright now that means I'm looking for a tenant buyer that can afford at least nine hundred and seventy five dollars a month right makes sense especially if you've kind of tracked what lease options are and how they work up to this point in the training now second of all what I did was is I went to a um, I recommend you do this too how do I know what the fair market rent is that's a good question that folks ask me people say well hey this property deal didn't sell I cannot find a tenant buyer okay number one it might be not bread and butter okay it might not be that bread and butter style that you're looking for the three bedroom two bath two car garage it might not be that and that might be why it's not getting as much attention as you think it should okay as you want it to the second reason why it's not getting attention is the second circle down here I put and that is that your lease payment to the owner and for this example is 975 a month but okay the, let's say the neighborhood really can only handle rents everything that's for rent around this area is only renting for 700 a month it's going to be hard for you to market this property deal and find a tenant buyer if you're asking too much rent and if you're asking too much rent because you're being made to pay too much rent then this is not a deal really it really isn't what makes a lease option deal a deal for you is the three bedroom two bath two car garage bread and butter or something nice that can get attention and then number two that that rent payment that you're making to the seller or that they'll the buyer will eventually be making to the seller is somewhere around the fair market rent in that neighborhood 
it can't be too high now how do you know I recommend you go okay this is what I was getting at before I recommend you go to rentometer.com okay and you can see it does cost money but the first five reports are free all right now what happens when you sign up for rentometer.com is they tell you everything you need to know about that rent in that fair market rent in that area in that uh, for that property on that street in that neighborhood for example right here take a look it says for this example property and and I had to actually put an address in okay so again this is a real property I'm just not exposing the address to you okay 1175 is the average rent in that neighborhood okay and they show a map down here you see the map and it shows where they've gotten these com comparable rents at all right so with the comparable rents 1175 seems to make sense so if the lease payment to the seller was 975 then I'm great on this deal okay I'm great on this deal I'm not gonna have a problem finding a tenant buyer because I'm gonna be able to market this property for rent to own or for lease purchase okay up to eleven hundred and seventy five dollars and still be okay for this neighborhood right now see it would be different if I had to give the seller fifteen hundred but the going rent in the neighborhood is eleven seventy five all right that would not be a very good deal and I would have a hard time finding a tenant buyer I want you to go back and look at the deals that you're trying to market and find tenant buyers for and if they are not uh, if they're not bread and butter or something close to it then that might be a reason why you're having a difficult time and number two it might be a difficult time for you if you are trying to get too much rent money okay maybe your deal isn't as good as you thought it was because you didn't quite understand how to analyze a lease option property deal and I just explained to you exactly how I analyze a lease option property deal rentometer.com alright I'm not so much concerned about purchase price I'm not so much concerned about any of all all of the other factors I mean they're all important but they're not the, they're not what tells me if this is a deal or not what tells me if this is a deal or not is is it a bread and butter or something close is it is it also something in the rent fair market rent area is, can I get the rent right if I can't get the rent right I'm not going to be able to find any dummy to come in and pay hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars more a month for that property to rent it even rent to own okay it becomes difficult so this is how you analyze a property deal to see how difficult it may be to find a tenant buyer with that being said let's assume that your deal is something that you feel still after looking at these ideas is a pretty good deal and you want to move forward you've looked at the rental meter and you've made a decision yes I can make the rents work here now the next thing you're going to want to do is find that tenant buyer. Now here is how you begin finding that tenant buyer. It is one word and that's what you need to get into your mindset and the way of thinking. In order to find the tenant buyer you need to get one thing. One word. Exposure. You have to expose that lease option rent to own property deal in as many locations and as to many people as you possibly can okay there is no other way around it now some people say well you can build a buyers list okay trust me I have built a buyers list of tenant buyers okay with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people on it and you know how much value I place on that list almost zilch because renters are here today and renting something different tomorrow okay they will call on your uh, your ad for your rent to own or lease option property deal most of them will call and if you do not respond or answer the phone or get back to them within 30 minutes or so they've already found another ad and they're calling on that and they're moving on they are not waiting on you to 
get back to them and tell them, oh yeah, how wonderful this deal is that I have. Let me explain to you how it works. They are not waiting, okay? So the list becomes irrelevant very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. I would not get caught up on having to have a large tenant buyer's list, okay? Because they are just not always ready to go. They need to move by the end of the month. And so they're going to rent something, okay, by then. If you don't get back to them or you send out a property deal to your list in four months, well, they rented something else three months ago. Okay, so that's just kind of how it is. They have to have some place to live. So they're fast movers. Now, <clears throat> rental meter will explain that to you. Now, how do you... How do you, um, a lot of those details are covered in the rental meter analysis, uh, so you'll want to check that out. The, the next thing that you want to do with the exposure is rent links is a good one. Okay, I have heard rent links, rentlinks.com is a good one. All right, um, I, I've heard that it's cheaper maybe than it was or maybe they've changed the plans i i don't know i don't personally use rent links but rent links is a good one i have heard <clears throat> many people say many great things about rent links rent links now what does rent links do rent links allows you to put a property deal in uh type in the information it creates a virtual flyer Okay, you know a flyer, like somebody stuck a flyer in your door or under your windshield. This is a virtual flyer, okay? And basically what it does is it syndicates that flyer out to a host of different places, listing places on the internet, okay? So you might have, uh, you know, uh, forrent.com and maybe, you know, a, a whole bunch of others. You know, maybe it puts it on Zillow. I, I don't know. You'd have to look at rent links and see to where it all syndicates, and I'm sure it does change from time to time. <coughs> Excuse me. I use, however, something very similar that syndicates, and that is V Flyer. Now, here's what that looks like V Flyer is a syndicating virtual flyer creator. Uh, website program thing thing of a bob I don't know really go there and subscribe it costs a little bit of money but then again I probably should have said this right away right off the bat that if you're gonna be in the in the nationwide lease option business you're going to have to invest in some tools okay that is just the way that it is you're not going to be able to be a nationwide lease options person unless you do a whole shitload, okay, of legwork, finger work, call work, all that. You're going to need some tools. And the tools are so affordable, it does not make sense to put it off, all right? V-Flyer is one of those. Um, rental meter is one of those, okay? So... V Flyer is what I use. It syndicates to several places. Right here is a list right from their website of where it syndicates to. And you can see it syndicates to OLX. Not even really sure what that is, to be honest. Hot pads, I get loads, loads of leads uh, from tenant buyers off of hot pads. All right. Do not discount things that you have not heard of. It's not necessarily meaning that it's not relevant. It just means that you don't know about it yet. Hot pads, if you haven't heard about it, I get loads of tenant buyer leads from there. Gebo, Trovit, Penny Saver USA. Okay. I think that's kind of like the thrifty nickel. All right rentals down here if i'm doing rentals like a for rent to own or something like that now i have to be very careful about putting for rent to own because zillow will kick it out but you can see for rentals if i leave out the to the to own part it will syndicate to trulia hot pads olx lovely zillow even 
Penny Saver USA and Trovit. Okay, I've got a discount code. You can get a discount, save a little money if you want to sign up. I'm I'm really honestly, I, I'm very happy with the service. So I mean, I'm proud to recommend it. I have used it for years. I have used it for years. All right. Now when you sign into V Flyer, this is basically what it looks like. Now I'm gonna go up there and uh, down here where it says create a new flyer. And you, I'm just going to show you how I create one real fast. Okay. Um, let's say here. Ch -ch -ch, house for rent. Create. Oop. I got to log in. I thought I was already logged in, guys. Sorry. All right. So now it's going to ask me to go ahead and construct this house for rent flyer. And I'm going to go ahead and put 1230 Apple Cart Way, Kansas City, Missouri, 64130. All right. Uh, the property description, I'm going to put this property is for rent for $1,175 per month. 375 uh, Three-bedroom, two-bath, two parking spots near the UMKC. You'll want to put details about the property. I hope that's what you're gathering here, okay? Then it, then it asks me more specifically bedrooms, bathrooms. Okay, if I know the information about like what year it was made or square feet or any of that, I can put that there. Also, if it has like ranges and fridges and washers and dryers come with it and so on and so forth, you can do all of those things. All right. Um, now, rent is $1,175 per month. Okay, available date. I'm just going to randomly pick something here. Uh, deposit okay this is where I get around the rent to own stigma okay and if you've been in the rent to own or the lease option business for very long you've run into the digital stigma that the words rent to own have on them okay and by that I mean Craigslist uh, places like Zillow uh, they don't like the words rent to own okay and sometimes they will flag or ghost you or just straight up not let that post go live um, and it's and they won't necessarily tell you why but I'm telling you why from experience you have no no real recourse with them okay um, you have to play by their rules and their rules are do not put rent to own in your virtual flyer. Okay, now because I understand that, I'm not going to put rent to own here. But what I am going to do is I'm going to put a deposit of $5,000. Okay, now that allows me to weed out some of the people who this will scare away. All right, minimum lease time I can put down there, um, you know, 12 months, uh, included utilities location information now I have to put the address in again and uh, I will all right it allows me to put a picture of myself on there my email address um, I can put my logo there there's lots of opportunities for me to, to uh, basically rework the theme of my virtual flyer. Now, it's going to allow me to add photographs. Now, all of this really only takes just a few minutes, especially once you get the swing of it. So, you know, don't let it scare you right away like it's technically difficult because, honestly, it's just simply not difficult. Now... It's just a new thing. It's not hard. It's just different, right? So, I'm uploading some pictures right now of this property. The property that I changed the address for, remember? 
and what it's going to do here after it loads up all the pictures uh, it's going to give me an opportunity to drag and drop them into the order that I like the most um, I personally like the basement last I like the pretty stuff up front I like the kitchen kind of up close I like the exterior first and then I'm just going to click save and close. It's going to save and close for me. It's going to take me back to the original form that I was just at where I uploaded the pictures and put all the information in. I can add links here if I have a video and I, I've created a link on Google Drive or something. I can put the video here. I can, you know, I can create links for documents from rental meter if you want to include that or what you know whatever marketing you've created that you want to include now here it asks me you can see do I want to share this or syndicate this to oodle hot pad Zillow lovely Trovid apartment list others and absolutely absolutely I want to syndicate because remember I want as much exposure as I can possibly get right so I'm going to make sure that they syndicate the heck out of this all right so I'm going to hit publish and then I'm going to show you basically what that flyer looks like so that you can see how uh, it is putting your information out there into the virtual world. So as soon as it gets done processing here and pulls up, uh, also you can, okay it did, and also you can share manually, okay, yourself, you can share this virtual flyer on your Twitter on your Facebook, on your Facebook business page, and your Facebook group. You can email this flyer. Uh, you can do an email a blast, a small one from here. I recommend having a bigger blaster for email like MailChimp.com or GetResponse.com. You can print the flyer if you want to hand it to someone. You can create an HTML code out of it if you're advanced and you want to use HTML codes. I do. Um, but it's it's not really hard either okay now here's what the virtual flyer looks like you can see it has the title I put in there it's got my picture it's got the three beds two baths isn't that nice now I can create an email like I was just showing you I can share this to my Facebook I can pass this around in a professional way plus don't forget it is being syndicated uh, by vflyer it's going to all those various places so not just where I'm sharing it, but it's being put out there into the you know into the world, man. Uh, people are going to be able to find this in places that you're not even familiar with it being on there. I, I I get people telling me, oh yeah, well we saw you on such and such, and I'm like, what on a whaty what? Um, so you know, <laughs> it's funny how syndication works, but you want exposure. That's really what you want. You want massive amounts of exposure. All right, another thing that I do for exposure is I put an ad on Craigslist. Everybody knows Craigslist, and let me tell you, Craigslist is not dead. Craigslist is super, super hot still, and it has been for a very long time. Used to, people would buy the newspaper. Today, they go to Craigslist, all right? They don't need the want ads they go to Craigslist because Craigslist is pretty kick-ass let's just be honest now you are only going to be able to use Craigslist to build an ad for your property deal that you're looking for a tenant buyer for if you're using Craigslist in your local market now obviously if your property deal is not in your local market it is in a different state then Craigslist is not going to be a very good choice for you and the reason why is Craigslist has really cracked down on making Craigslist a local classified ads kind of deal. It is very difficult for you, for me for example in Kansas City to post ads in um, Wisconsin somewhere. Very very difficult. Very difficult because they're going to ghost my ad, they're going to flag my ad, they're going to delete my ad, they're going to just make it not appear, whatever, it's not going to work, okay? And it is going to be an exercise in futility, trying to post Craigslist ads in different marketplaces that are not right adjacent to yours. Now, you can go, like for example, I'm in Kansas City, I can probably get away with posting in Springfield, Missouri. 
I could probably get away with posting in Topeka, Kansas, all right, because these places are a fairly close drive, all right, but now I'm not going to be able to do it over in San Francisco, California, all right, they're not going to allow me to post on Craigslist, however, with that being said, I want to show you if you are going to use Craigslist in your local market or if you know someone in that market or you can create an IP address that's secret enough from that market, wink, wink, then you can post there. All right. Now, I'm going to show you exactly how you post on Craigslist. I hit the post button and it asks me, to proceed here and select what I want to post. Now, I'm going to post this house, this property deal, 1230 Apple Cart Way, right? I'm going to click the housing offered, right? Then I'm going to click the apartments housing for rent, right? The reason why is because I'm looking for people who are renting and they just got a big tax return and they are ready to put down a large down payment and they are ready to move into a great deal and make it their own, all right? Now, I'm going to put the address here. I'll put something like rent and buy. All right? It says the same thing, right? But I'm not going to get so much attention from the stigma of rent to own, right? Now, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the zip codes and do all those things. Now, remember when we came back here and we looked at the flyer, I want to go back to the flyer and I'm just going to make it real easy for me to go ahead and kind of do some syndication of my own. I'm just going to copy and paste the description I created from that flyer. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to put it in the posting body. I'm going to put the rent down here, $1,175 a month. It's not an apartment. Make sure you put house here. All right. Available on. by phone, by text, I want them to be able to reach out to me, right, in any way that they feel most comfortable, by phone or by text. They could also hit reply and email me back, all right? I'm going to go ahead and put the address down here again so that it can pull it up on the map. See, Craigslist has updated this even recently and added some copyright things to it. Now, this is going to tell us where the map, where it is on the map, and it's going to give you the option to add a map like this to your ad on Craigslist, which I like to do. So, you know, it shows people kind of where it's at in town. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. Now I'm going to add images, and I'm just going to open up those same images that we did before that we loaded up onto the V flyer, and I'm just going to add them here. And you can see Craigslist is pretty fast. Um, they don't mess around. You know, Craigslist is pretty good. It is still the most relevant classified ad that there is today um, in my assessment. Okay, it allows me to drag and drop these images. You can see, so I'm dragging and dropping them and putting them in the order that I like. And then when I'm ready, I'm going to go down here and hit Done with Images. And you can see here is a, an example of what the ad will look like on Craigslist. Now when I'm ready, I hit Publish. It's that easy. Okay, so now I've put an ad on Craigslist. Alright, so that's how you do Craigslist. Now... One other thing that I do to get maximum exposure, if I have done the V flyer and I have done, share, I've shared it on Facebook and my social media, and I have also done Craigslist, 
if I'm in a position to be able to do Craigslist, then I'll, if I've done those things, then basically a couple, two or three days later, if I still ain't getting a lot of action from tenant buyers, here's what I'll do. I'm going to go over here to Facebook because remember, this is where everybody's at. Everybody's on Facebook. I mean, we're on Facebook right now. So that's great. Facebook is an awesome place to be. Now, if you go to Facebook, you can see there I am right now on this video. It's like I create, it's like I ripped a hole in the universe and I'm like warping through it because I'm watching a video of myself, watching a video of myself on Facebook. It's what will they think of next? When you get to Facebook, go up here and click the button at the top that says create. Okay, you're logged into your profile. You will have a create button. All right. Now used to it was over here with this little arrow and you'd have to scroll down to create ads. But watch what happens. When I do that, it says, oops, create ads has moved. You, all you have to do now is hit this create button. So I'm going to go ahead and click the create button. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to create an ad. All right. Now, again, remember I said, if you're going to be in the lease option business nationwide um, or outside of your home market, you're going to have to invest in some tools and sometimes you have to invest in a little bit of advertising to expose your listing. Now, I'm going to show you it's not much. Not much at all. This is how I do it, literally. All right. So while this is loading up, I want you to be aware that you'll have to put your credit card number in here, all right? And they're going to set you up to make a payment for the advertising dollars that you use, all right? The first questions that it's going to ask us is, um, how do we want our ad constructed? What is our marketing objective? The one that I particularly prefer is the messages. And that's a fairly new option. It hasn't been here all that long. The messages option allows you to create an ad that when people see it on Facebook, they can message you immediately about that property. All right? So that's really what you're wanting, right? Now, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to name it. I'm going to name the campaign 1230 Apple Cart Way KC Mo. Just so now I know which one I'm dealing with because I've created multiple campaigns. All right. I've been doing this for quite a while. <clears throat> and different accounts and different all, all kinds of things. So it's going to ask me to name the ad. I'm going to name the ad again. 1230 Apple Cart Way. <coughs> Message destination. Yes. They're going to click to send me a message. It's that simple. I want them to be able to reach me or a team member very easily, very quickly. Because remember, if they're going to move on to the next for rent property as soon as you don't respond or reply. All right, so you'll want to be on this. Custom audiences. I can build an audience, and let me show you how I do it. Obviously, the location is the United States. But what I want to do is X that out. I want to be even more specific. And I'm going to type in the zip code. So... Here's what's great about Facebook. I don't have to market this property deal everywhere. I don't have to pay for that. I don't have to pay for the, the syndication to go all over the country for a property deal that's in one particular market area. Facebook allows me to select even right down and even further niched down but I can go directly to that zip code where that property is and I can advertise that property for rent or to own or, you know or lease purchase or however you're phrasing it in your ad you can just only the only people that are going to see it are the people that live and and work in that that zip code so i find that to be awesome uh, because i'm not i'm not paying for wasted marketing all right 
Now, also, I can niche it further down by age. I'm, I'm not going to recommend you do this. Um, I would start at 18 and go all the way up. And the reason why is because there can be some great older tenant buyers. All right? There absolutely can. They're both men and women. Leave it that way. All right? I can niche it down even further, but I prefer not to. I could save this audience. So if I ever want to market the same thing in the same neighborhood and the same zip code, I can just easily pull it up and I don't have to do this again. So, But I'm not going to do that this time. It's not really necessary. It's really so simple. You don't have to do it. Now, automatic placements is recommended. This is where your ad is going to show. Okay. I like to edit the placements. All right. I like it to go on marketplace. I like it to go on marketplace. That is also a good thought. If you don't have any money whatsoever and you're, you're into a deal in a different market, at least post it on Facebook Marketplace. It's free, okay? At least post it there. Now, if you want to really take it to the next level, which is what I like to do, and just because it's like five bucks is what I'm showing you. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the $5 paid ad plan because that's what I find to be most effective. Because it also puts it on the marketplace here, right? It would put it in all these various locations if I wanted them to. I don't want it to. I want it to be in the feeds, the news feed on their wall when they go to Facebook. I want them to be scrolling up and see it. I also want them to find it when they go shopping at Facebook. I want them to catch this big you know, ad that says, hey, take a look at this lease option or lease purchase property. Instagram, it will put it there if you want, okay? Now, if you don't have a great Instagram account, I would not worry about doing that. But if you are, if you have some exposure on Instagram, I would go ahead and let them do that. I particularly don't at this time. Um, audience network, I'm going to leave it the way that that is. Messenger, those messages are coming into the inbox, right? I want them to see these ads in the inbox. When they're in there checking their messages, I want them to see an ad that says rent to own property or lease purchase property. On all mobile devices, I could even niche it down to just iPhones. I mean, it gets crazy how far you can go if you really want to get it niched down. Facebook is incredible in this aspect, all right? Now, it's going to ask me now budget and schedule. I'm going to come down here to daily budget. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put $5. $5. That's $5 a day. Right? I'm going to let that run continuously starting today. I can tell you it says right here in black letters that I'm going to spend no more than $35 a week. If you had to, if you had to, all right, now I'm just asking a hypothetical question. If you had to, and you had a property deal that was bread and butter, and the rent was right, and you had to find a tenant buyer, and you had to spend $35 this week to do it, but that tenant buyer brought you a check for $5,000 as a down payment or as a you know as option fee, if you had to, wouldn't the $35 be okay? Isn't it really? Aren't we really real estate investors? I mean, we like to do this with no cash down. We like to do this and all that. But you're going to have to buy some tools. <laughs> you're going to have to be able to do some things. And it's little money. It's little money, okay? But 35 bucks a week can put 5 k in your pocket. So, I mean, you got to keep it in perspective here, folks. It's not that much money. Now, you can even up it from there if you want to get even more exposure, all right? You'll get charged every time somebody looks at that ad. That's the way it works. I'm going to go ahead. It says here on the right-hand side, 29,000 people, potential reach. 29,000 people. <laughs> That's not too bad. Not too bad, all right? You're going to get exposure on Facebook. And let me tell you, they start tagging they start tagging other people. They start sharing it. They start passing it around themselves. All right. So you'll even get more exposure due to that. 
this is just the cost of the ad all right it's going to ask me do I want images or video or a carousel of pictures I'm actually just going to go ahead and do a single image and or I'm going to upload images I'm going to go ahead and just like I did before on Craigslist and vFlyer I'm going to upload some images right here I selected too many let me go ahead and select the right ones There we go. It's loading them. All right, while it's loading those, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the text. Again, you're going to want to put information about this property being a lease purchase. All right, somewhere in the headline, you know, for example, uh, lease purchase property available available now okay you're gonna to want to put some contact information in your text now this is very specific for the property deal very specific marketing to that zip code the call to action, the button they see down here is going to be send message. Okay, they start seeing these pictures roll through. This property is for rent, eleven seventy five dollars per month. It says down here in big black letters, lease purchase property available now. All right, you can modify this any way you see fit. Okay, do you see how it works? Any way you see fit. All right, and there's lots of, lots, lots of customizing options. Now, when they, when they message you right away, uh, look what Facebook does down here. They give you some options for automatic bot response. <laughs> How cool is that? So let's say they, they say to you, hey, they see your ad and they message you. Hey, I'm interested in this property. Okay, then what, what you can do is you can create a custom answer to, to greet them right away with. Um, it's pretty it's pretty remarkable I, I recommend getting in here and spending some time okay this I know I've kind of flown through some of this and and it's like I have to really because to sit down and do the entire uh, you know Facebook detailed posting or even Craigslist detailed or even V flyer detailed and how all these programs work you know you're just going to have to do what I did and everyone else does and jump in buy some tools and learn how to use them right so once you do that you'll be fine you'll be fine now after I've built the ad I hit confirm okay once I confirm it's going to let me know that it has received my ad and that it's going to approve and when it's approved let me know and usually it takes just a few minutes for them to approve my ad but that's that how that's how simple that is it's, it's very very simple so let's get back to the camera here and chat for a minute all right I know this has been a little bit of a lengthy expose on lease options and finding tenant buyers um, you're going to want to be prepared to find a tenant buyer by gaining massive exposure for this property deal you've got to get exposure you have to start thinking in those those time those mindsets how do I get exposure on this property deal um, there are free ways there are very 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 cheap ways to do it like I said rent links is one V flyer is one Craigslist is one Facebook marketplace is one Facebook paid ads is one and hot pads is one and, and on and on and on and on if you're not getting exposure then the problem is not with the market if you have a bread and butter property and you have a deal that the rents fit in that market fair market rent for that neighborhood then it's not the property deal it's not the market it's you're not getting the right exposure okay you have to get exposure now 
what you do when the buyers or tenant buyers text you or call, the first thing you want to do is you want to find out how much down payment they have to work with because you don't want to be showing properties or talking to people about properties that don't have down payments. All right, that is a bit of a different talk. I'm going to throw another survey on the Facebook free group and everybody tell me what's the next lease option topic you guys want to hear about next week and i'm going to jump into that okay this has been how to locate how to find a tenant buyer for your property deal i'm justin chamis hey this is the real estate wholesalers club.com i love you guys i appreciate you i want you to participate i want you to jump on the page and ask me questions and ask each other questions and let's just have a great time really dissecting lease options in fact I would, I've been considering about taking one of you guys from the group and making you a guinea pig. If you'd be willing to do the phone work and do some of the, the, the tasks that I give you, we'll make you a pig, piggy, uh, a little piggy, you know, and, uh, you know, you're going to basically, uh, you know, show us all how it's done as I coach you through it. I would love to do that. Just coach you right into your first deal right there in front of everybody. I think that would be the most awesome and fun and kick-ass thing to do. Uh, right here on this group. I love you guys. You mean more to me than you probably know. Please uh, don't hesitate to let us know how we can help you. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification there and we will be right back with you next week with another episode of the Real Estate Wholesalers Club live show Wednesday at noon and then we replay at 7 on YouTube. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.